In this video, we'll discuss oculomotor nerve, its connections, functions, and the muscles it supplies. Oculomotor nerve, the third cranial nerve, is an entirely motor nerve. It arises in the midbrain at the level of superior colliculus. The origin points of the nerves are number one, general somatic efferent component that supplies the extraocular muscles and the levator palpebri superioris muscle. It arises from the rostral midbrain nucleus. Number two, general visceral efferent component the parasympathetic portion that supplies the intraocular muscles arises from the edinger westphal nucleus the other cranial nerves that have parasympathetic functions are seventh ninth and the tenth cranial nerve number three the subnucleus in the cranial nerve three controls each muscle what are the supranuclear connections of the oculomotor nucleus the motor nuclei of the third fourth and the sixth nerves are are linked through medial longitudinal fasciculus which coordinate movements of the eye. General visceral efferent parasympathetic edinger westphal nucleus receives bilaterally twig from the tectum. This is edinger westphal nucleus receives a bilateral twig from the tectum and tectum receives a twig from the optic chiasma on its way to the visual cortex. Optic nerve forms the afferent limb of the pupillary light reflex and the oculomotor nerve forms forms the efferent limb of the pupillary light reflex and causes constriction of the both people because it is connected bilaterally with the tectum. So direct and indirect pupillary light reflex that is consensual right reflex are positive if a light is thrown in one pupil. Oculomotor nerve supplies the sphincter muscles of the iris by relaying through the ciliary ganglion. General somatic efferent nucleus is connected to the frontal eye field area eight via contralateral sixth nerve and peripontine reticular formation so this is the area eight which is connected to the contralateral reticular formation here and then that is connected to the nucleus of the abducent nerve abducent nerve supplied on the same side to the lateral rectus muscles and on the opposite side via medial longitudinal fasciculus to the nucleus of the third cranial nerve the ocular motor nerve that supplies to the medial rectus muscle this is concern with the horizontal gauge of the eyes. Frontal eye field area 8 also controls the convergence of the eye for accommodation. It's connected to the medial rectus. This is the frontal eye field and is connected to the medial rectus component of the oculomotor nucleus. Oculomotor nucleus is also connected to the rostral interstitial medial longitudinal fasciculus nucleus and to the interstitial nucleus of Cajal. These nuclei are concerned with vertical gaze. How levator palpebri is supplied? Levator palpebri is bilaterally supplied by the single central caudal nucleus. Which extraocular muscles is supplied on the opposite side by the oculomotor nerve? Superior rectus muscle is supplied by the motor nucleus. The nerve passes in the lateral wall of the cavernous sinus. Which other nerve pass through the cavernous sinus? Cranial nerve 4, trochlear, 6th, abducent and ophthalmic and maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve. The nerve then passes through the superior orbital fissure to enter into the orbit. Which extraocular muscle does oculomotor supply? Oculomotor supplies all extraocular muscles except superior oblique which is supplied by the trochlear nerve, the fourth cranial nerve and the lateral rectus muscle which is supplied by the abducent nerve. What's the position of the eyeball in oculomotor palsy. The eyeball is turned down and out in third nerve palsy. Why? Due to the unopposed action of the superior oblique and the lateral rectus muscle. Superior oblique moves the eyeball out and down and the lateral rectus pulls the eyeball laterally. What's the difference between the actions of the superior oblique and the inferior oblique muscle? Superior oblique turns the eyeball out and down and inferior oblique turns it outwards and upwards. Which intraocular muscle does oculomotor supply? The parasympathetic fibers of the nerve relay in the ciliary ganglion and short ciliary nerves supply the constrictor pupillae and the ciliary muscles. What's the nerve supply of the dilator pupillae? Long ciliary nerve from superior sympathetic cervical ganglion supply the pupillary dilators. Which other nerves pass through the ciliary ganglion? Sympathetic nerve, the long ciliary nerve from superior cervical sympathetic ganglion that supplied the pupillary 
dilator fibers and the nasociliary branch of the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve which nerves do not relay in the ciliary ganglion the nasociliary nerve and the long ciliary nerve they do not relay in the ciliary ganglion Y pupil is dilated and fixed in oculomotor palsy due to the unopposed action of the dilator pupillae which are supplied by the cervical sympathetic ganglion and pupil is fixed due to the loss of pupillary light reflex why because oculomotor nerve forms the efferent limb of the pupillary light reflex what's the function of the levator palpebrae superioris muscle the levator Later palpebrae muscle elevates the upper eyelid and paralysis of this muscle causes ptosis. When does oculomotor nerve lesion causes bilateral ptosis and why? An oculomotor nerve lesion at the nuclear level causes bilateral ptosis because levator palpebrae is supplied by the single central group of cells central caudal nucleus whereas a peripheral oculomotor lesion causes ipsilateral or unilateral ptosis. Which muscle is antagonist to levator palpebri orbicularis oculi that closes the eye and is supplied by the cranial nerve 7 which other muscle is similar to orbicularis oculi it's orbicularis oris that closes the mouth also known as kissing muscle and is supplied by the cranial nerve 7 the facial nerve